don't touch me. Please. I just... I just need a few moments to snap out of it. Hell of a night, huh? <laughs> Are you okay? Just tell me the truth. Are you okay? Then, why are you standing weird like that? Did I... Did something happen to you last night? I do need to know. Because if I hurt you... There's blood on your clothes. It's not from a cut. You're the most careful cook I know. You don't cut yourself. Ever. Besides, unless you were cutting something on your stomach, I doubt you'd be bleeding from there. Did... Did you get hurt there? Well, I do want to talk about it. Because I think I hurt you. The wolf and I are the same. It doesn't matter whether I remember it or not. Let me see. Stop changing the subject and let me see it. Now. That looks bad. Like going to the hospital bad. You need stitches. It doesn't matter if you apply pressure to it. It's still bleeding. We need to stop the bleeding. You're not fine. You're bleeding on our kitchen floor, and it's all my fault. Tell me what happened last night. I already know you're hurt. Just tell me how. The not knowing will drive me crazy. Wait. I should call for help first. Give me the phone. But part of you're still bleeding do you not understand? Something vital could have been pierced. You could be bleeding internally. We need to get you checked out. Just let them look at you. Make sure you're not running too low on or anything. The longer we stand here, the worse it could be. And the worse you'll turn out. I know how to do them, but that doesn't mean... <sighs> Fine. Sit down. Are you sure you want me to do this? The hospital could give you some painkillers and numb you before. We could make up a story. Say you got... I don't know, attacked by a mountain lion or something? <sighs> Leave it to you to be worried about the pretend mountain lion being killed. I have to disinfect this. It's gonna sting. I know, I know, I know. Shh. Almost there. You're going to need about at least four stitches, maybe six. You sure you don't want me to? Fine. If you need to, grab my arm. Ready? Here we go. One. 
too. I know, I know. You're almost there. Just, just hold on. Three. And a four. There. Let me just tie it off. All done. Baby. Look at me. You're all done. You did great. All I remember is you putting me in the basement. Then nothing. What happened? The chains broke? I was loose? In the house? Fuck. You should have let me outside. Better than I hurt someone else rather than you. Because I can't live with myself if I hurt you. You are the one good thing I have in my life. And if I were to kill you... I can't forgive myself for this. I can't... I can't do this anymore. You spent the night playing hide and seek with the werewolf that could have killed you. That almost did. How do you think I feel knowing that I put you in that kind of danger? No, 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 don't touch me. Please. This has to end. This. Us. It's over. I'm not overreacting. It's only by sheer luck we're still having this conversation right now. I could have woken up and found your lifeless body there. Do you know how many times I've seen that in my nightmares? How it haunts me? But I told myself that I could do this. That I could keep you safe. We had a plan, and it worked. But it's over now. It failed. I was a fool to think I could live in both worlds. I'm a monster. Yes, I am. A monster that almost killed you last night. Stay away from me. I can't... I can't risk you, okay? Just... Forget I ever came in your life. We're breaking up. Yeah, we're done. Love has nothing to do with this, all right? Love can't keep you safe or prevent me from becoming a monster once a month. I'd rather lose you and know that you're safe than have you and seeing your lifeless eyes in my nightmares. Don't come near me. It's over. We tried. No one can say we didn't try. But I was wrong. A monster like me needs to be alone. Goodbye, love. Oh, damn. Good to see you too, G. Jake, how'd you find me? Sure, just come on in. So, if you're here, I'm guessing something is up? You think? Wow, you're grouchy, aren't you? 
I didn't ask you to come. In fact, if you left, that would be... Gaia, I... messed up. <sighs> I'll put the kettle on. Don't think I'll ever get used to you doing that. Perks of being a witch. Here. Tastes horrible, but it will help you keep calm. Cheers. Yeah, this is horrible. Next time call and I'll make sure to have some better tea. So, what happened? I need you to relocate me. Jake, I'm sure whatever happened is not that bad. I know you can appeal to the council. Just slow down. What happened? Were you exposed? I didn't see anything on the news or online. I attacked my... <sighs> you were dating a human? Oh, Jake. You were right, G. I thought I could be the exception to the rule. Is there... a body to dispose of? What? No. They're alive. Just got torn up a bit. Then why do you need to be relocated? Because I'm a threat. I have their scent now. When the wolf comes out, it will hunt for them. You don't know that. You ever wake up in a pool of blood that's not your own? You know I haven't. I was kidding myself. I thought I could play human. But I'm not human. You broke things off. Of course. And they were in agreement? No. No? It doesn't matter. Jake, this could be it. The way to break the curse. I said no, alright? I don't want them to get involved. Ever again. Even if it might free you from the wolf? At what cost, Gaia? How many more people do I need to hurt to try and save myself? The council won't reconvene until tomorrow night. You're welcome to stay here until then. But Jake, I think you're being an idiot. Noted. Do you know how many people would jump at the chance to break the curse? Think about it. A life where you don't have to live in fear of the full moon. No. It's not up to you. Don't you dare. You're my friend, Jake. The whole time I've known you, you've been miserable with this curse. And now you're just going to stop at the finish line? You know the price to be paid. A willing price. And it sounds like one your lover would be willing to pay. <sighs> fine, fine. I'll talk to the council. Thanks. I owe you one. Yeah, well, remember that next time I ask you for a favor. <sighs> Is that them? They'll get over it. The guest room is upstairs. I'll get some extra blankets. So much for a peaceful evening. Break the curse. What crap. Even if I want to. The cost of it. It's too high. And I can't. I can't put them in danger like that. Never again. The council will put me somewhere else, and they'll forget all about me. New star for everyone. That's what needs to happen. They'll see that. Because if I stay here and I kill them, I could never come back from that. It's been too close already. I have to stop pretending. It's over. All of this is over. That's the way it has to be. Esteemed Council, 
I thank you for seeing me on such notice. I wish to speak on behalf of a werewolf who wishes to be relocated. No, there was nobody. See, the werewolf attacked his human partner. They live still, yes. He fears for their life. I'm aware that this isn't typical, but I would like to remind the council that there have been exceptions made for other supernaturals before. I would like to remind the council about the vampire from Ohio who... Yes, I'm aware. Please consider... As you order. <sighs> Damn it. You spoke to the council? They denied the request. Shit. Can't I appeal? The council is rigid in its rules. You weren't exposed, so they won't waste any time or energy on it. You have to help me, Gaia. I need to get away. This isn't that big of a deal. Bullshit! I almost killed them. Almost being the operative word here. Almost is not the same as did. The council doesn't care about anything other than the human still lives. They see no need to intervene. Then what am I supposed to do here? Just say, oh well, and kill them? Of course not. You're not giving me a lot of options here, Gaia. Break the curse. No. I can understand your hesitation. I'm not going to be their death sentence. It's not. At least, it doesn't have to be. A willing sacrifice. Yeah. And how many humans have survived? How many have actually ended up cured and getting their happy ending? It doesn't mean it isn't possible. God, it's, it's like you're deaf or something. You're not getting it. There isn't an option. I called them. What? They're on their way. You've lost your mind. How could you? Jake, this is for the best. Oh, fuck you. And where do you think you're going, huh? No matter where you run, the wolf will just bring you back. At least this way you have a chance. What part aren't you getting here? They'll die. Not if their love is true. Do me a favor. Lose my number. Well, that went... well... <sighs> Great, you changed your... Oh. Apologies. I wasn't expecting you so soon. You must have driven quickly. Jake has... well, left. But he'll be back. Can I offer you some tea? I do have some coffee. Give me a second. There we are. Ah, oh, yes. I suppose it would be your first time seeing magic. Like I said, I'm a witch. I'm afraid I don't know much. Jake doesn't like to talk much, even less so when you try to bring up his wolfy nature. But, like I said, there is a way to break the curse. I must warn you, though, there is a great possibility that something could go wrong. See, the council... Think of them as a supernatural police force. There are a lot of things that go bump in the night, and the council is there to make sure the balance between the supernatural and the humans is kept. Can't have werewolves running around killing everyone, can we? Anyways, the council, they hold the cure. Or, I suppose, the recipe for a cure. See, it requires a willing sacrifice from the werewolf's true love. Yes, it's all very fairy tale esque but I'm afraid that's where things get difficult. The sacrifice is deliberately vague, and people have died only for the curse to remain intact. The council, once a request has been made, will force it to be seen through. Should you hesitate after I contact them, there will be no way out. Do you understand? I see. And... While I do not doubt your love for him, I wish for you to truly think about this. If you go through with it and you're not his true love, that's it. Your life will be forfeit. Your friends, your family, you will never see them again. Their memories of you will be stripped by the council. 
it will be as if you never existed. Still, you wish to proceed? Very well. I will inform the council in the morning. Oh, Jake will be back. He can't run very far, not with my magic working anyways. But best to let him think he can get away, at least for a bit. He will be displeased to see you. Oh, good. As long as you're prepared for that. Very well. Shall I get you another cup while we wait for him? And that would be him. Would you mind if I spoke to him first? He'll probably want to yell at me first anyways. I mean, I did sort of go over his head, but what are friends for, right? Okay. If you're certain, I will approach the council in the morning. Best of luck to you. No, you stay put. I'll find somewhere else to go for the night. I think I need some peace and quiet before I speak to the council again. Nice meeting you. What stunt are you trying to pull? Hi, Jake. Welcome back. Oh, don't start with me. Wards? Gaia, really? You think you can just keep me here like this? That's exactly what I think I can do, yeah. Undo them. No. <sighs> Two can play at that game. What? Did you just put chains on me? You- Temper, temper, Jake. Why don't you just take a breath and listen to what I have to say? I told you, I'm not gonna go through with it. Why won't you get that through your thick skull? Because it's not just about you, Jake! The hell it's not! They showed up here after I called them. They're willing to go to the council. If you think I'm gonna just let you waste this opportunity- And if they die? What if they don't? You don't know that. Neither do you! You really are a crappy friend. I've been told that. Take the chains off. Are you gonna run again? I couldn't even if I wanted to. I'll be back in the morning. You're not staying? And listen to you, angst about your life, all night? No, thank you. A hotel will do just nicely. Just don't wreck the house. And she's gone. Great. Don't say anything. <sighs> what are you doing here? Let's go inside. Yeah, well, it helps to have a friend who's a witch. When she's not busy trying to stab me in the back, that is. I don't care what she told you. You shouldn't be here. Did I ask you to break the curse? Did I ever tell you that's what I wanted? Of course I don't. But am I the only one who understands the risk here? You could die. I keep saying it because it bears repeating. You could die. You most likely will. I can't even remember hearing of a success story. Because your life isn't worth throwing away for me. I told you, love has nothing to do with this. If you're not going to protect yourself, then I'll have to. I don't know. I'll refuse to participate, or I'll find a way to break off the wards. Get the hell out of Dodge. God, it's like everyone has gone insane. I'm telling you, this won't work. It's a fool's errand. One that will get you killed. I didn't ask you to try. Yeah, I do want you to go. Go and never ever think of me ever again. I'm not worth it. I was wrong. A werewolf and a human can't make things work. 
No. They can't. Don't touch me. Just stay there. Ugh. Why can't you just stop being so damn stubborn? You understand, the odds of you breaking the curse are beyond low. I don't know. I've never heard of anyone actually breaking the curse. I don't even know how you even break the curse. Just a willing sacrifice of true love, whatever that means. Just because you love me and I... You might not be the one. If that's the case, you'll be throwing your life away for nothing. <sighs> There's no talking you out of this, is there? I'm not. I meant what I said. This can't work. Love has nothing to do with it. What I feel for you isn't important. No, it's not. Well, I guess the only card I can play now is to tell the council I'm opposed to it. It's not that I don't want to break the curse. I don't want you to get hurt. It's not worth it. I don't care what you think. I don't care if you're willing to do this or not. I'm not. I'll put a stop to it. I don't care what the council says. I'm not doing it. Then we're at an impasse then. Great. You want to call a truce for the night? Fine by me. I'm tired of arguing anyways. But if you think this is the end of it, you're wrong. Are you... okay? Your stitches, I mean. You should probably have them looked at by a doctor. Have you even checked them? Let me see. Shirt up? Let me see. Now. Uh, the bandage needs to be changed. It does, or you'll risk an infection. Sit down. I can do it. Just... Please? Good. I think I still remember where she keeps the first aid stuff around here. Gaia? What about her? <sighs> she found me shortly after I turned for the first time. She's an envoy to the council. Fancy term for someone who keeps tabs on people. Her job is to find new supernaturals and get them on board with the rules. Oh, found it. Okay. Let me know if this hurts, okay? I'm gonna need to wash the wound a bit. This may sting. Yeah, there are rules. If there weren't any, the whole world would know about the stuff that goes bump in the night. The council eliminates those who try to upset the natural balance. I don't know. A bunch of self-righteous people who think they're better than everyone else. I've never been allowed to meet them. All requests have to go through an envoy. How's that feel? Good. I put the new bandage on. There. You really need to keep an eye on that thing. If it gets infected, you gotta go straight to the hospital. 
You can't play around with that. And you're laughing? What is so funny? Of course I care. I mean, who gave you that injury in the first place? Fine. I'm not made out of stone. I worry. Happy? I swear, sometimes you are just the most infuriating person I know. Yeah, well, if I had known that when I met you, I would have run the other way. Oh, ow, ow, okay, kidding, I'm just kidding, ow, ow. You sure about this? It's not a fairy tale, okay? You could die. You make it seem so noble. It's bullshit, though. I don't want your body on my conscience. That simple, huh? You just won't die? Gee, why didn't I think of that? Oh, shut up. I did. I didn't like leaving you like that. Fine. Come here. And watch the stitches. I missed you too. I told you. My feelings for you weren't a factor. I don't want you hurt because of me. You'll just break the curse? You know, you're pretty confident. I wish I could believe you. I just... worry. Fine. I love you. Happy? Just... Stop. Let me just hold you for a bit. I don't want to think about tomorrow. I did. More than you know. You sure you're okay? Good. Fine. We can argue more tomorrow. We'll call a truce. <laughs> I'm glad. Shh. Just... Let me have this, okay? Just for a bit longer. Shh. It's too early. Don't move. I'm comfy. Oh, shut up. I'm not. Hey, where are you going? Come back to bed. Because once we get out of here, it's going to be uh, a really big mess. I'm not being negative. Just realistic. Now, come here. Please. Yeah, well, until Gaia walks through that door, it's just you and me. No wolves, no spells, just us. Why do you gotta keep asking me that? <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. Okay, fine. Um, let's say you do this. You're my true love, and you break the spell. Then what? You're stuck with me. That's what. 
What if I become some jerk that you hate? Would you really put up with that? Seriously. Then, fine. Um, what if you're not? You'll die. Are you really okay with that? It is not a noble thing. It's death. You die, and that's it. You're done. Everything that you love to do, everyone that loves you, it's all over. I can't bear the thought of that happening. It's not that. I do trust you. It's... It's me. I'm worried about... I don't know, but the, but the council is really screwed up. No one knows how this thing works, how to even break the curse. You sure you want to risk that? Am I? I love you too. Just... If things get too crazy... Promise me you'll run. I'm serious. Run. If you get any weird feeling, get out of there. All right. How long are you going to keep spying on us, Gaia? <laughs> that was touching, really. Straight out of a movie. Time to go? The council will see you now, yes. Let's get this over with. Try to be positive, okay? Ah, uh, whatever. Alright. Without resounding endorsement, let's go. Jake? Where is he? No, he should have been here with us. I teleported all of us. I think the test has started, yeah. But I don't know why the council didn't greet us. Oh no. Because I think I know where Jake is. Wait, let me see if I can... What? They took my magic. Damn it! This isn't good. Listen, you need to... Stay away from me. I, I'm warning you. I, I can't. It fucking hurts. Uh, don't touch me. I can't. I can't control it. Uh, who are you? I just woke up here. I don't know. Uh, what is happening to me? Make it stop. Please. Ah. You better run. Whoever you are. I can't hold it in. Much longer. Ah. Run. Well, you can. Go. Now. Quick! Shh. <sighs> Are you alright? I don't know, really. I have some guesses. Listen to me. I don't know how much time I have. The council is trying to send me out. Ugh, yes, I'm fighting it, but I won't make it much longer. You need to focus. Jake isn't the Jake you know. No, he's not. He's lost. That's what the test is. You need to bring him back. And if you can't, well, it doesn't end well for you. I don't know. I can't explain it. I don't know how to- <coughs> Damn it. I'm out of time. Listen, you can do this. You know how to do this. I believe in you, and Jake. 
If anyone can do it, it's you. Here, take this. I know it's a bell. That's not the point. The sound it makes, it can buy you some time. Only ring it if you have to. It only works once. I'm sorry. I wish I could do more, but... Ah! No. I'm stronger than this. It hurts. Don't come any closer. I don't know who you are, but I... I can't stop following you. What is going on? Talk. Quickly. <laughs> sure. And you're Little Red Riding Hood. And I'm the Big Bad Wolf. You realize how insane you sound right now. I may have no memories, but I'm still here in reality. Curses? True love? It's ridiculous! I'm fine, it's fine. It just... It hurts. Look, if you keep moving that way, you'll find a town or something. Get help. Get away from me while you still can. What? I don't know you. Stop acting like I do. Stay back. Do you really want to die? I'm barely in control here. My whole body wants to give in to the, to the wolf to use you like a chew toy. So what? This forest will just go on and on and on. Until the curse is broken or you're dead? You realize you sound insane. How can I trust someone I don't know? Fine. You want to be an idiot? Go ahead. I'm going to stay here. No point in moving while I'm like this. Don't want to run into anyone else. Whatever. Go. Stay. I don't give a damn. Imagine bees stinging you over and over. It's an itch you just can't get rid of. Look, if you are my true love, how are you supposed to break this curse? You don't know. Great. A magic bell? This is sounding more and more insane. It's gone. The pain, it... It... Stopped. I feel... Normal. Yeah, I can breathe normal too. Thank the Lord. I don't know how long this will last. You should go. Fine, then, then talk. Just, what do you think you're going to do? Give me a kiss of true love? <laughs> That's how pathetic it sounds. I don't know. I woke up here. I know my name. That's... It. I don't know you. I don't know where this is. If you were hoping for our eyes to lock and me to remember everything, you were mistaken. Then what's the plan? That bell's magic won't last forever. If I were you, I'd run if I could. 
your funeral. I don't know what to do here. Why won't you run? <laughs> sure. And love can solve everything. You're living some kind of fairy tale. It sounds like me, then. Well, if I broke up with you, maybe you should have just let me go. Huh? Now look at what situation you're in. You ever wake up with blood on your hands and have no idea where it came from? You watch the news and hope and pray that no one went missing in the woods that night? This curses. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Why would you love a monster like me? It's not that simple. Because I'm... You know what I am. You can't just accept me. No, you can't. I mean, I tried to kill you not even ten minutes ago. So what? You're going to stay here until the magic runs out and let the wolf kill you? You're an idiot. If you loved me, you would run. Because I, I wouldn't want the body of someone that I love on my conscience, okay? And you're hugging me. Do you not listen to anything I say? <sighs> yeah, I can see that. It feels warm, maybe a bit familiar, but the memories are still gone. Sorry. That sounds like a terrible idea. Wandering deeper into the woods with a ticking time bomb. What could go wrong? <sighs> You're just going to keep talking until I agree, aren't you? Fine, I'll go. But if this place is as enchanted as you say it is, it won't do you any good. I mean, for one, you have a horrible sense of direction in the first place. Wait. I don't... I don't know, I, I just... It just popped up in my head. It could just be random. Not you jogging my memories. Whatever. Lead the way, then. But if I tell you to run, you run. You hear me? Good. Let's go. And this forest really does go on and on for eternity. <sighs> Look. Stop. Just stop. Do you have a plan here? Yeah, a plan. Some sort of idea on how you're supposed to break this curse? Of course not. Did you ever consider the fact that you may be screwed? I don't remember you. We're trapped in a magical wood, and there's no telling when I'll lose it again and kill you. Yeah, I'm starting to freak out. Wouldn't you? Enough. Enough. Enough about true love and curses. Just stop. Look, I understand you believe, sincerely believe what you're saying. I also admit that I have no memories, but listen to me. It's over. 
whoever you think you're fighting to help, they're gone. I'm what's left, and I'm barely hanging on. The bell you rang soothed the pain, but I could feel it starting to creep back. You don't have time. Get out of here. Then, you really want to die? Is that it? Do you think it's noble to die for the sake of love? You're selfish. Yeah, I mean it. Fucking selfish. Because dying? That's the easy thing. You wouldn't have to be here to deal with the fallout. To watch me pick up the pieces. Live. That's how you can help me. Live for me. Get yourself out and safe. I don't know. I'll find my own way out. Somehow. This council can't keep me here forever, right? Gotta be breaking some sort of law. It doesn't matter. Just, you go that way, and I'll go this way. And then eventually, one of us has to make it out, right? Then what do you propose? You really think jogging my memory will work? Now you're going to be asking me to give me a true love's kiss. No, no, don't kiss me. I don't know you. God, why do I feel like I'm talking to a brick wall? Whoa. Did it just get dark in here? Yeah, it was sunny a second ago, wasn't it? Now it's all... Oh, shit. The moon. It's a full moon. No. No, 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 no. I, I can't control it. Run. Ah. Go. Get out of here. What? Ow, my head. You awake? Gaia? Where? Drink this first. Should help you recover your strength. Ugh, that taste is horrible. I think you would be nice. What happened? Last thing I remember, we were waiting for the council. You don't remember anything after that? No. Should I? Jake. Wait. Where are they? Jake, I need you to listen to me. Gaia, what's- Listen! Jake. The curse is broken. What? H how do you know that? You can't know that. Not until a full moon. Perks of being a witch. I can create moonlight at will. Watch. See? No fur. No teeth. No wolf. I don't understand. How is that possible? Unless the curse was broken. It was broken. Then, where are they? I only found you, Jake. What? When the council finally let me back in, I found you passed out in the forest. Alone. There... There was blood. No. Jake, this isn't your fault. You're saying that I... That I killed them? I... I couldn't find a body. But the blood... There was more than enough for it to be fatal. This... This can't be right. I'm so sorry. Don't touch me! This is what they wanted. Don't you dare start that crap with me. What about what I wanted, huh? I knew this would kill them. I begged them not to go through with it. 
I begged you. But no, everyone was so gun ho on breaking the curse, and now look. Is this supposed to be the happy ending, Gaia? Huh? I get to live happily ever after after knowing I killed the one person I truly loved? Jake, I know this is difficult. You don't know any of it. Just get out of here. Leave me alone. I'll be back to check on you in a bit. And, Jake, I miss them too. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. I don't know whether I should be mad or upset with you. Two weeks. Two weeks since that damn forest and there's not a sign of you. Not a trace. Gaia even pulled out her scrying crystals. Muttered some stuff that I'm sure you would have found interesting. Nothing. It's like you vanished from the world. Or like you never existed in the first place. Your parents thought I was crazy when I called them. Said they didn't have a child. Gaia said it was standard procedure. Council cleans up any loose ends so the mortal realm isn't sent to a panic. Those bastards. They won't tell me what happened. They won't talk to me at all. All they said was, congratulations, like losing you with some sort of fucking medal. I don't want to have the curse broken like this. You knew that. You better be alive. Do you hear me? Because I'm going to find you. I'm going to bring you home. And after I'm done lecturing you, which, believe me, will take a few days, I'll hold you and just know that you're safe. That you're not going anywhere. I know what Gaia thinks. That I killed you. Can't really blame her. The evidence is all there. Looks like the wolf slaughtered you and you just... Let it. God, he must have been so scared. It's so dumb. I keep thinking back to when we were first dating. Must have been our fourth date at that sushi restaurant with the killer tuna roll. And this big fluffy golden retriever ran over to you. And I couldn't tell if you were going to faint from panic or hide behind me. You were scared of dogs. And you let a werewolf kill you. Why? For me? For my sake? You're so selfish. This whole damn thing was about what you wanted. Well, you know what I wanted? I wanted you to be alive, damn it. Alive, safe, and happy. Not mauled to death by... There was no body. So you gotta be out there, right? The council knows where. They just won't talk. So I'll make them talk. I can't think about the alternative. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to intrude. Anything? Jake. I'm gonna take that as a no. I'm not gonna help you with the suicide mission. I don't need your help. Jake, would you just stop for a second? Listen to me. The council isn't some rogue werewolf. These are powerful, supernatural entities. With the snap of their fingers, they've illuminated whole towns from the world without anyone remembering a thing. I mean, just the other year, there was a werewolf pack in- I don't care. They know where they are. Ted, Jake. They're dead. And I'm sorry that it's come to that, but I'm not going to let you get yourself killed. Why? Because you're my best friend. You think I just go around helping anyone? You think I appeal to the council for just anyone? No! You're my friend, and I'd like to keep you alive. Not your job, Gaia. And if I don't, who will? You? 
You sure as hell don't seem inclined on moving on. They're not dead. I can feel them, Gaia. Deep down, somewhere, there's this... hum. Their presence. They're alive. I just need to find them. A hum? You're willing to go against the Council based on a hum? It's a werewolf thing. No doubt. Please, Gaia. <sighs> that portal will take you to the Council. But whether they'll see you or not, I can't make any guarantees. They'll no doubt be offended by this. Thanks, Gaia. Whatever. I mean it. I'm sorry I've been a crappy friend. You deserve better. Come back alive, then. With them. You got it. Seriously? You sent me to the same damn forest? What's wrong? The scary council can't face me? Come on out, you cowards! No answer? Great. So just keep walking, then. So... You guys really just gonna let me wander around here? Hello, Big Scary Council! Who's there? Great. Now I'm hearing things. You're not, actually. Who? Let's get the boring intros, okay? You want to talk to the council. You've got it. Or at least, you've got the council's youngest member who's required to do with grunt work like this. You can call me Taylor. I yes, yes. I know you want. We all know what you want. You know, you're pretty ungrateful for a wolf who got their curse broken. I didn't want that. Why? Because you killed your lover? <laughs> you know that, right? I watched you rip them limb for limb. Honestly, moving the body was a kindness on our part. No, that can't be true. What's more of a sacrifice than to die for the one you love? Bring them back. No. Please, you have to be able to do that. You're one of the most powerful people out there. Turn back the clock. Why on earth would I do that? There's nothing in it for me. Besides, you'd be a werewolf again. I don't care. You can make it so we never met. Still not seeing what's in it for me. You get a werewolf. I'm not following. Gaia said you doll out punishments, right? Well, you can add a werewolf to your arsenal. You're willing to be used pretty much as an indentured servant? If you bring them back. And what kind of life is that for you? It's not my life I care about. Please, I beg of you. Do this. <sighs> Why am I always sitting out on stuff like this? They know I can't handle this kind of mushy stuff. Do we have a deal? You passed. What? The test. Congrats. You passed. I'm not following. The wolf tech. The whole your powers are gone. It was a trick. See, the test wasn't for your partner. It was for you. Would you be willing to sacrifice the one thing you'd always want to save them? And you were. So, congrats. You mean... I didn't kill them? No. Just a well-placed bucket of fake blood. And a few memory confusion spells. And voila! Fake murder scene. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Don't thank me. I'm just doing my job. If you don't mind, I've got an appointment coming up, so can we wrap this up? There. All is as it was. Minus the wolf thing. On behalf of the council, I wish you a happy life, Jake. So, Penny for your thoughts. Well, 
It's been a month, and we're both standing under the full moon. Guess the council was telling the truth. The curse is broken. I don't. When I thought you were gone, I... It was horrible. I still freak out a bit if I, if I can't find you easily. Must be why I'm always holding your hand. Whatever. I think I've earned the right to be a little possessive after what we went through. Come on. Tell me. What are you thinking? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's just... It's so cheesy. I mean, come on. A new beginning? Under the full moon? Pretty sure there's a cliche around here somewhere. Hey, wait. I'm sorry, I'll stop teasing. Promise. I guess you're right. This is uncharted territory for the both of us. To a new beginning, then. Now, um, can we go back inside? It's kind of freezing out here. And you still love me. Of course I do, dummy. Do you really need to hear those words? Fine. I love you too. Let's go inside. 